Since the death of a Wendell Middle School student whose family says he took his own life after being bullied, a lot of parents are out there trying to figure out exactly how to talk to their children and keep them safe. Tonight, CBS 17's Maggie Newland spoke to an expert about the dangers of cyberbullying and is getting answers about how to protect your child from this. Maggie, such an important conversation to have. It really is, Angela and Rod. And while people of all ages rely on our phones an awful lot, kids can use them to keep in touch, but they can also use them to hurt each other. Okay. Technology is just part of life for kids these days. We're trying to find out what a word means. 11-year-old Yates would still rather play football than spend time on the phone. But mom Jessica Tyndall says her older daughter uses hers every day. I think she's got Instagram and she's got um, Snapchat. I try and monitor what gets posted. Dr. Amanda Parker, the chair of the security and computing department at Campbell University, says monitoring kids' online activities is critical, especially as cyberbullying becomes more common. It's anyone and anywhere and it's 24-7. She says cyberbullying's a big problem among middle school age students and it can be difficult to stop. They can't get away from it and even if they try to, I mean, you know, you can shut down social media for your kid, you can shut this down, but it doesn't matter because People are still putting everything out there. She advises parents to monitor all of their children's devices, but says it's still easy to miss things. Communication also is very, very key. She urges parents to talk to their children about cyberbullying, saying it's the most important thing you can do to stop it or find out if they need help. She also suggests staying in contact with other parents. For Jessica Tyndall, online safety is a group effort. My mom actually follows her, so, you know, my neighbors follow her too, so we have kind of a nice community patrol. And while kids love to stay connected online, experts say there's a lot of benefit to spending time outdoors and face to face. And Dr. Parker suggests taking your kids' phones away at nighttime. She says you would be surprised how many kids are getting up in the middle of the night to go online. Reporting live, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. You know, there's a way to turn all of that off, too. Yeah. There's a time limit on phones parents can set for parental controls. So there's just something to think about if your kid is getting online Absolutely. at night. Thanks, Maggie.